so i hope okay you all people are uh, from sap background or uh, or at least you okay, can know the uh, basic of sap right uh yeah so one request from my end is okay uh, it should be okay it would uh, it would be good if the seminar would okay seminar will be in uh, interactive mode because if only i uh, okay speak and you people will uh, listen okay so this is not going to be an interesting one so i request you yeah, so that okay it will be helpful for me to understand okay understand the background or understand the uh, okay uh, this is okay situation like okay how you people know about the sap attp or 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 you people have okay basic knowledge or basic knowledge of sap or at least okay uh, working in some other module like uh, like mmtp sd like this hello yes okay okay yeah we have a basic understanding of sap attp sorry yeah we have basic understanding of attp okay basic understanding of sap attp and uh, okay you are okay well known about other modules like sap mm sdpp right no, no not much about them only attp basic why because we okay, have worked so, in the pack okay some so of you have... are okay from uh, what we say okay end users or business users right and some of you yes. are uh, consultant uh, okay uh, technical consultant IT consultant, SAP IT consultant. Okay, then, yeah, not an issue. Okay, so SAP ITDP, the long form is okay, advanced track and trace for pharmaceuticals. Okay, so we are presenting from Ambika. Uh, the first one is okay, agenda. So, what we are going to do, okay, so we will explain to you what is the ATDP, okay, uh, then key features, then okay, some of the screens, screens I'm having, okay. Uh, relevant to the attp and then okay attp based benefits uh, okay so next one overview of sap attp and its purposes so what is mean by sap uh, sorry attp so attp uh, is advanced track and trace for pharmaceuticals this is the okay uh, initially uh, this is uh, this suit or this uh, sap product okay they have uh, launched uh, for the pharma pharmaceutical industries so we know that okay uh, in pharmaceuticals the lot of counterfeiting or duplicate uh, duplicates medicines okay uh, is happening and uh, this is very dangerous uh, from a patients uh, health or patients lives uh, point of view so uh, in the global market okay uh, miss everyone in the pharma uh, pharma industry or everyone in the uh, or uh, pharma experts are okay looking for the product or looking for the solution okay where they can uh, uh, they can okay uh, lower the risk of uh, duplicacy or counterfeiting so this attp okay uh, sap has launched uh, okay which is going to provide the okay end to end visibility and traceability means okay once the product is manufactured in one of the manufacturing unit or in any uh what we say okay in any uh factory and if we are okay uh, uh sending or transporting that product from okay place a to place b and okay and uh or place a to or from okay manufacturing unit to uh their okay distribution channels and from distribution channels to okay pharmacy and then pharmacy to patient so this okay this should be uh, okay traceable okay this should be traceable and we should know the exact uh, position or exact situation of that uh, product so for this purpose okay this sap attp is we are using so purpose of attp is to provide end to end visibility okay track as well as trace if any product is going to be okay for example if any product is uh, expired or okay if that product has been damaged then okay we, we should okay track that product as well so that okay we can uh, we can discard that product or okay or we can follow the okay next process uh, for that product so okay uh, so that okay the misuse of that product should be restricted so this point of view also okay the, the attp is uh, is useful so from point of manufacturer to the point of consumption okay so the initial agenda is the same like okay it should be traceable and 
okay and we can track this product completely from manufacturing unit to the end customers or end consumers or patients okay so by implementing atdp pharma companies can meet global regulatory requirements for product serialization track and trace and reporting so okay so to avoid this duplicacy or counterfeiting so uh, uh, yeah uh, global companies or uh, or the uh, what we say okay uh, countries okay uh, the regulatory bodies of that countries okay uh, have decided that okay it should be a track and trace and uh, every product means at initial level or at each level okay should be uh, should be okay uh, uh, serial numbers and okay every information should be uh, there so that okay we can track and uh, okay this is sap attp is very useful for the, uh, very useful to implement that solution so okay by implementing attp pharma companies can get global regulatory requirements okay well uh, for example if us is uh, saying that okay they need uh, 16 digit uh, serial numbers or china is saying okay they they need 20 20 digits uh, serial numbers so we can uh, send those serial numbers at each level or complete serial numbers like okay for example if we are producing 50000 uh, serial ids or 50000 units of the any drug and that we sending from india to uh, china so we are sending okay all 50000 data to the china regulatory system okay so that uh, that interface or that uh, connection is also we can establish through this uh, attp so attp is designed and help uh, designed to help the organization monitor manage their supply chain ensure the authenticity of their product and reduce the risk of counterfeiting okay so we can we should have okay complete track of that product okay right from manufacturing to the consumers so this is the main agenda or main okay uh, aim of, for this sap attp solution so uh, anyone have any question regarding this one hey, it's clear okay so second one okay key features and functionality of attp so attp provides a comprehensive solution for tracking and tracing for pharma products okay so uh, product serialization okay as i said okay product serialization means okay we are having uh, for example any product uh, okay we want to serialize okay so that means okay we, we need to commission okay that product or do the commissioning and uh, uh okay nowadays okay uh, barcode is there so against the barcode we should have all the information like uh, product serial id uh, serial id product global trade item number then batch number manufacturing uh, date uh, expiry date so all the information should be available on the product okay uh, the, the pharma product so and this serialization okay means we should commission all the products and okay apply the serial numbers on that product so this functionality should be is possible on this uh attp then track and trace as i okay already said that okay we should we okay we should able to do the track and trace for this product so that okay uh this the okay any any drug or any pharmaceutical product should not get dupli uh, should not get duplicate or counterfeit should be uh, avoided with the help of this one then data management so every data we can manage with the help of this one so uh, in attp we are having a lot of data like okay master data we are having then we are having systems we are having okay item numbers or global trade item numbers then locations then serial numbers uh, range definitions then okay uh, reporting data so all data we can manage okay with the help of this attp so earlier if anyone knows that so before attp we were having sap aii and oer so okay so okay uh, product serialization uh, <clears throat> we uh, okay we know that okay product serialization we should able to uh, commission all the product relevant information on the product like okay batch number date of manufacture date of uh, uh, expiry uh, then uh, gtin uh, serial ids all this data should be available uh, on that uh, on that product and track and trace 
so we already okay uh, discussed about this one track and trace uh, that the product should be traceable and we can track back uh, okay we can okay uh, traceable and we we should know the position or we should know every action about this product throughout the journey right from uh, manufacturing to manufacturing unit to the uh, consumers uh, then data management okay we we have already uh, said that okay we are having we can manage every data uh, regarding attp like master data systems locations then we are having okay business partners as well in attp uh, then okay range definitions uh, uh, then okay uh, if for any uh, special regulatory we are having okay all out uh, almost complete global regulatories are involved in involved in this attp and we can manage complete solution for global, uh, global uh, regulatories so for example for russia or uzbekistan they use uh, serial numbers as well as crypto codes so those crypto uh, serial numbers are 13 digit number numbers and crypto codes are almost 40 digit crypto codes with uh, four digit crypto keys so all this information we can manage with the help of data management and reporting uh, data management then reporting and analytics analytics so reporting and analytics means we can report all the data okay or we can report we can have complete uh, list of events against that particular batch if we are doing any uh, if we are doing multiple operations against the batch then okay we can see complete list of, uh, complete events or uh, or complete uh, events against that batch so that okay uh, we we should know what what are the operations we have made uh, or what are the operations we have performed against that batch and uh, at what stage that batch is going to uh, report to the regulatory, whether it is China, US, Europe, or whatever may be the country. And okay, when we have uh, reported and uh, what is the response? So all these reporting and analytic analysis we can do against the batch or against the uh, list of serial numbers. So with the help of this uh, analysis or reportings, we, we should have okay all the data regarding that batch or that product then integration so integration point of view okay this is the uh, complete system or or uh, okay we we are having uh, let me show so this is the attp system sap attp system and this is the erp system like our ecc system or wm system so where we are doing uh, where we are okay creating uh, sales order outbound deliveries or uh, uh, outbound deliveries or STOs, whatever may be the operations. Okay, so all the operations in EC system we are doing. Okay, and after that, for example, we created the batch, and after batch, okay, um, this system, uh, uh, ERP system, or this, yeah. So this is the packing line. Uh, so packing line, what packing line will do is uh, we are having all the master data here against the product uh, against the product master data or uh, GT global trade item number. So uh, all the product master data we are having in HTTP system and all the setups like okay systems uh, interfaces everything we are having in HTTP system and this is the packing line. So from this packing line uh, is requesting the serial numbers. So this packing line will request for uh, serial numbers like okay, 50,000. For example, they want to do the 50,000 uh, serial IDs. Uh, for, uh, they want to okay commission 50,000 serial IDs for any particular product. So against that product or against that uh, serial ID, uh, sorry, against that G team. So packing line is going to uh, request for 50,000 serial IDs. It, the request will reach to the HTTP system and the HTTP system okay, uh, can, uh, responses back to the uh, packing line so that okay they will get the 50,000 serial IDs uh, against the request. So this integration, okay, this is the integration we, we, we say, okay. So all the interfaces we are having with the HTTP system like ECC system to HTTP system, packing line system to HTTP system, 
then we are having government bodies like regulatory systems uh, like uh, various regulatory systems like eu european hub uh, us china korea uh, uae so all these government bodies are uh, uh, bodies will be connected with the with the attp system so we we, sh we can have okay uh, any middleware uh, against um, mi middleware be between the government body and attp system so <clears throat> So every company nowadays using SAP ICH Information Collaboration Hub as a middleware uh, between government and uh, ATTP, uh, ATTP system, or we can use uh, any other as well. So this is not mandatory, but uh, ICH is uh, support of ICH is very good. So everyone is uh, uh, using ICH only. So all these informations, like okay, we are having three PLs as well, third party legislations or CMOs, contract manufacturing organizations. Or wholesalers. So, so this ATTP system is in center, and we uh, and all other systems like okay, ERP system, WM system, government system, third party logistics systems, uh, contract manufacturing organizations, wholesalers, or packing lines are okay connected with the ATTP system. So, all the integration between uh, any other external bodies is possible in an ATTP system, like, okay, no, no system, okay, uh, like uh, no other ERPs uh, handling this much integrations. And compliance management. So compliance management is nothing but the uh, uh, demand or their rules and regulations of each country. Like EU is, okay, uh, EU is saying that they, they only, Net 16 digit uh, serial numbers with uh, uh, cheating, and they, they also need okay decommissioned serial IDs as well. Decommissioned means uh, for any reason, if uh, batch is uh, destructed or batch is uh, what we said, if the batch is uh, okay, uh, scrap okay, we, we do the some serial IDs as a scrap, so those serial IDs also need to uh, send to the government bodies or regulatory systems so okay this is one 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 kind of uh, compliance or us team is uh, accepting only 20 digit serial ids or russia is accepting crypto fees crypto, crypto cases uh, and along with serial ids 13 digit serial ids so this is the regulatory bodies or regulatory bodies compliance or rules we can say in simple language so all this information okay we can manage in attp system okay so this is the uh, okay interface or data flow or architect we can say uh, of the attp system so anyone have any question regarding this one hello hello monos yeah yeah i have one query uh, yes. for example 50000 serial numbers requested a uh, packing line from the sap attp Mm -hmm. Out of 50,000, if only 35,000 serial number are used for the particular product, remaining 50,000 serial numbers, what uh, what will happen for that remaining 15,000 serial numbers? So for particular, okay, if uh, 50,000 serial IDs are uh, requesting for one of the products, so they can they they need to use those. Uh, for example, 35,000 serial IDs they have used for. One batch, so they can use the remaining 15,000 15, serial IDs for other other batch of the same product or same material. Okay. Yeah. Means the remaining 15,000 serial numbers go back to uh, this ATTP? No, no, no. Ah. No, it should not go back to the ATTP system. Okay. okay. Yeah, but it will st it will uh, store in their system like packing line system, and they can okay. use for the upcoming batch. If this no, is no, not no, the scenario. No. Then, should, then yeah, uh, the packing line should only request the serial numbers what they want. Miss, uh, okay. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Yeah, Manoj. <clears throat> yes, please. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, uh, how many countries you are explaining right now? Uh, this is the demo session. So okay, it is not uh, possible to uh, explain any country. I'm no, just giving uh, the overview. Yeah. How many countries yeah, you are covering in the subject right now? Uh, subject right now. Mm. Right now, it is not possible to cover any uh, any uh, any single country because one country, okay, 
it is uh, taking almost five to say okay if we say one hour per day as well one or two hours per day so it will take almost three to four uh, days or six okay. to seven okay. hours for each country so it is okay. not possible i'm just okay giving the uh, overview means how the system how the uh, attp is working and how, what we can cover into the attp system what is the what are the benefits so yeah these points we are covering here yeah for country wise you are, are you covering in the subject like uh, rules triggered how was the rules yes, are yes, triggering yes, yes. for the country yes 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 we are covering okay while the sessions we are covering everything like okay rules rule type rule type configuration uh, on what basis like okay uh, on what uh, business event or which uh, business process on which business process that rule type should trigger for that particular country so all this configuration okay we we, we are having in the session okay one more thing you told that uh, uh, in the middle of the country reporting you are uh, adding as an ich how you are yeah. using like that yeah yeah uh, uh, for that ich also you are uh, how to connect that ich also you are telling in the subject uh, from http okay. to ich, ICH. Yeah. in real time in real time as well okay uh, ich is not uh, what we said i said is okay. uh, sh is having okay uh, yeah on their own uh, team to do all the all the things okay we are okay. having some fields where we can just map the ich system code okay. and uh, system relevant details so that's it yeah yeah the only task we okay, are okay. in our system yeah we can you are telling that how to map the some http system to the ich yes yes yes, yes. yeah so in uh, our and system, one more thing we can do, yeah we are having that that one but uh, in in ich uh, system so they are having their own own thing we know right so okay. they are going to perform the actions at their end yeah one more thing uh, from ich to the same http system or http to the ich how was the inbound and outbound messages or how was the uh, what are the errors will come in that uh, uh, ich uh, and http system is it covering that subject okay. what so, are the errors will come during some mapping of http to the ich yes yes yes, yes. We, we will cover that one as well so normally what are the covers okay uh, sorry what what will be the errors are okay uh, so errors will be like for example okay we need to map uh, for example if we are sending uh, uh, abc pharma is okay sending civil ids to the china government okay so, mm -hmm. so in that case the receiving party gln should be there in ich and sending party gln should be in their uh, ich so if this mm. uh, if this uh, mapping is not there so then okay we should face the uh, error error okay mm. error means the error will be like okay the file will not transfer out out of the ich to the uh, receiving party okay okay and one <laughs> more thing you are told that uh, uh, we can access in 3pl or cmos in uh, mm. in that cmo onboarding is there cmo on onboarding how was the cmo onboarding, onboarding will be there what yes, are the yes. requirements from cmo onboarding yes yes, yes. so everything yeah, will yeah. be there yeah. okay okay yeah so at the point of view yeah cmo onboarding will be there hmm yeah okay yeah continue where we can see how the data will flow to the flow from uh, ecc to http system uh, this is just for an example so uh, this is the okay transactional data transactional data data uh, for example if we create uh, ecc production order or if we create the batch okay if we create the batch in our ecc system so we need to do some configuration in uh, ecc as well as http system so that integration will happen from uh, integration or okay data transfer will happen from ecc to http system so in that case if we uh, use the msc1 and uh, transaction to create the batch in ecc system and if the material okay is going to transfer from uh, from ecc system to http system
and okay we can see uh, this one as a uh, object as a lgt lot uh, global trade item number so this is the uh, nomenclature we are having in attp system so this way okay batch integration will happen from ecc to attp system uh, if we do any transactions like okay production order or order bound delivery so this one also okay uh, can happen okay based on the material of course okay we are having master data as well so necessary master data we, we need to maintain in basic data one work scheduling view and additional data uh, additional uh, okay uh, data uh, data tabs so where we need to mention http relevant fields and uh, values so that that product will be http relevant product so based on that if the production order or outbound delivery we create and uh, if the product is attp relevant then immediately with the help of rfcs or with the help of maintained integration so this production order or outbound delivery will transfer into the advanced uh, attp system okay so and same okay like okay same like packing line system as well so packing line system and attp system integration or interfaces will be established between packing line and attp system so after that packing line system is going to request for serial ids uh, okay or serial numbers for that particular product like okay we call it gtin which is having 14 digit numbers uh, and okay gtin we can have normally two uh, two level gtin so first one is each level means item level and second one is case level okay means second level of uh, packing hierarchy so in that case okay packing line system will packing line system will request for the whatever numbers they need like okay uh, for example 15000 or 20000 or 50000 as well so they will request for that number okay so with the help of interfaces the request will come into the our system and and it will um, it will check into the system that okay if the product is available for that uh, request if the product is available and all the prerequisite like okay product should be activate and range definition should be available and that should be activate as well so all these prerequisite if maintained then the response will be um, response with with uh, list of serial ids will be received into the packing line from attp system so this is how okay, integration will happen uh, between the ecc and attp system so this is just the okay representative uh, slide i have prepared uh, just for this demo so this is okay uh, then okay we are having the next one okay this is the cockpit transaction uh, this is the master transaction we can say so this master transaction is having all the data like okay we are having master data about then serial number management and then repository browsers so in master data we are having four types of master data business partners locations trade items and systems so business partners means uh, like in ecc or s4 ana we are having the business partners like vendor uh, customer so the same business partners we are having in attp as well but okay we are having five five types of uh, business partners in attp like okay uh, customer vendor own organization cmo and uh, third party legislation then we are having okay second master data is locations master data so in location master data uh, we are having two types of location master data first one is uh, plants and second one is uh, um, yeah second one is uh, storage locations so this master uh, plant and storage locations we can maintain against the location master data third one is trade item trade item is nothing but the material master we can say okay so this material master so material master relevant all the information we can maintain in attp against this trade item master data so we can have okay a gtin as well so if it is possible you can see here gtin number the 14 digit number starting with 169 okay this one 169 okay so this type of information we can maintain against the trade item so this trade item should have all the information like uh, description of the material material number of material number then uh, global trade item number then uh, its status of the 
oxide atom number uh, then the uh, profile relevant country means for which country this product is relevant means to which country we are sending this uh, products so all this information will be available against the trade atom then systems so systems are nothing but the our uh, uh, packing line systems uh, then ic systems we can say regulatory systems uh, we are having some partners business partners like okay the third party or cmos so we can maintain their systems uh, their system numbers as well so that okay the data can be uh, uh, received and sent with the help of those systems so all the system relevant data also we can maintain against the master data then we are having okay serial number management so range definitions ranges range request and serial numbers okay we are having all uh, these four uh, things against the serial number management so range definition is nothing but okay uh, like okay range profile or serial number profile so against this serial number profile we can have okay what is the length we can maintain like when may we can maintain or define like what is the length of uh, serial number uh, the serial number should be alphanumeric uh, it should be okay uh, what is the uh, life of that uh, serial numbers uh, okay and uh, for which uh, gt in this serial range definition or serial numbers we can use so all these information or all these settings we can maintain against the range definition and range definition we can uh, create against the uh, uh, profile uh, simulation type then ranges and range request okay ranges means okay so range definition is the uh, is like serial number profile and ranges will be okay the serial number uh, what we say okay from uh, 1 to 10 like this okay ranges so we can uh, request uh, we means the packing line or cmos can request the ranges okay uh, cmos or packing lines can request the serial numbers in a list form or range form so okay so range request and serial numbers we can see here okay range request and serial numbers then the repository browser we are having a lot serialized trade item serialized containers lot means okay our batch number so we can put here batch number and against the batch whatever events okay we are we can see here the events tab is there so against this batch we can uh, we can have all, all the events we can see here and uh, Select trade items. So, for example, this is the list of serial numbers. So, we can see here GT number, then trade item description means the description of the product, then serial numbers. Okay, so this is the serial numbers, logistic status, then pack status if this is or unpacked. If it is a single level, means only initial level of the packing, then it should be unpacked. Then, disposition of this. Uh, serial ids and so if it is active inactive in transit like okay so this is active then lot number we are having here and then gln gln is nothing but global location number means this is the number associated with the plant or warehouse number from where we have received this batch uh, okay so where it it has been manufactured this batch has been manufactured so this is the gln number then in object history we can see here the level of uh, packing hierarchies so the this is the first level means uh, this this serial number is first level of the uh, or item level uh, serial ids okay we are having almost 10 10 serial numbers in each sgt means second level of case uh, serial numbers or case sgtins and then we are having third number of uh, third level of packing so we can say okay third level of packing uh, like bundle or okay bundle we can say okay so this number third level of packing we can use as a sscc serialized shipping container code and fourth level is pallet so pallet is also okay we can use as a sscc number so this all numbers we can create in attp system and we can see here the packing hierarchy as well so 10 numbers are packed in each case and okay and this kind of 50 cases or or five cases okay are 
five cases are uh, packed in this bundle, this SSC, and uh, 10, 000, uh, 1, 000, right? So 50, almost okay, 20. 20 bundles are packed in one pallet. So this 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 way, okay, we can uh, we can say or we can see or we can understand the object hierarchy or packing level hierarchy of these serial IDs. So any question regarding this one? Cockpit transition. Uh, 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 do you share your screen because I cannot see any screen at the moment? I already, uh, yeah, yeah. So, anyone have any question regarding this? One? Oh. Yeah, Manoj. Uh, uh, in this, uh, are you covering the EPS file? How to read the EPS file? What are yes, the yes, yes. contents are available in the EPS file? Yes, yes, yes. yes. Everything. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so then SAP benefits, okay, this is uh, industry level benefits, uh, means uh, if the industry or that particular business is using ATTP, then what are the okay benefits that uh, uh, business is going to see? So efficiency should be improved, uh, reduced risk, okay, so in ATTP we are having very minimal risk, uh, compliance is better, means uh, whatever the regulatory system or regulatory reporting uh, rules we are having for each country. So all the rules we can manage into the ATTP system. Improved visibility means, okay. Uh, okay, means uh, if we want to see any past batch as well, no? So we should be able to see all the uh, tracking and tracing of that batch with all the events and what are the okay number of serial IDs and what are the actions we have performed against that batch. Okay, so all these with all these uh, benefits, the brand reputation, okay, in pharma reputation or brand reputation is very important. So this will be, of course, improved. And supply chain security, okay, is, uh, is uh, yeah, supply chain is managed very uh, efficiently into the ATDP system. So these are the benefits of ATDP. And next please, okay, question and answers, if you are having any. And okay, career-wise, okay, everyone knows what are the benefits. So I think I have missed to, okay, um, is to add career-wise benefits. So if you are having any question regarding career-wise uh, benefits, so then you can ask, or else I can assume that, okay, you know, very well about the career wise uh, benefits for this ATDP. This is the niche product, and uh, in market, okay, we are having very limited resources for ATDP, and the uh, demand is very high. The big, uh, the reason behind the demand is uh, every country is going to uh, uh, going to implement these regulations because uh, not complete. I mean, not every country has uh, implemented this solution yet. So uh, even India is not, uh, India, okay. So in India also, okay, we, a uh, lot of companies has not yet uh, implemented this solution. So, so okay, uh, the uh, demand is very huge. Also, okay, uh, apart from this uh, pharmaceutical, uh, like FMCG and then, okay, uh, FMCG dairy products, so these this will be included into the ATTP as well, like okay, regulatory reporting as part of regulatory reporting. So the going forward, the demand will be huge for this uh, SAP ATTP consultant. Hi, Manus. So for now, I think it is only for uh, pharma uh, clients, right? I, I think FMCC is not mandatory. No, no, it is not mandatory, but okay, for dairy and okay, FMCG is also using uh, ATTP. You know ITC, right? So ITC is already using uh, this ATTP. Also, Walmart, Walmart is also using 
Yes. So yes. Okay. So Walmart and ITC are the FMCG companies, no? So they already okay. There is no uh, what we say. Okay. There is no compulsion. Be, uh, okay. To use, but but for pharma, this is the compulsion. Yes. Okay. They need to use the the uh, okay. The target dates are not yet uh, announced by India or by or some some countries. Okay. Uh, it is relaxed, but going forward, it should be. It will be a mandatory one for pharma one pharma uh, companies. Manoj, do you be explaining about the implementation part and what are the tools you use to be using? Or yes, 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 it will be uh, everything. Miss um, implementation part, all the configurations, all the transactional data, so everything will be there. And you will be explaining the each and country report. And the water, the rules, and how these rules will, and, and how these rules will be delivered. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So right. whatever, okay, whatever country solutions solution nowadays, uh, okay, uh, right now available in HTTP. So I am going to uh, explain you. Yeah. As well as the tables, and you'll be explaining about it. The tables. Yes, yes, yes. Tables. Yeah, tables. Uh, some of the fields, integrations. Okay. Also, uh, what are the important integrations we are having or uh, what are the important transactions we are having in ECC? Okay. HTTP relevant transactions in ECC. Also, what are the master okay. data we are having in ECC as well? HTTP relevant master data in ECC like, okay, material master data, uh, customer master, vendor master, then plants. Okay. So everything we are doing. Okay. Yeah, Manoj, uh, one more thing. Uh, it is covering all the subject like uh, end to end. Yes. Yes, 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 end to end. Yeah. End to end. Once the batch is created, after that, how to report? Once the batch is dispatched, after that, how to report the country wise? Uh, you are covering all the subject. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. After batch is covered, uh, batch is created. Uh, what are the business steps we are going to perform against that batch? Uh, Particularly for that particular, uh, particularly for uh, country specific. If we are having China country, then okay, the, uh, mm -hmm. the batch reporting will be happened at shipping level. So before shipping, we, we need to do the packing, packing and uh, uh, loading as well. So how okay, the events will be reached into the HTTP system. Okay, so I don't think okay yeah. in uh, yeah practice system we are having the uh, interfaces connected, but I will explain. I will try to explain everything. How to see the guidelines? Uh, how to see the uh, guidelines? Uh, how to check all these activities? Uh, yes, are you is. providing any uh, notes on that? Uh, notes? Yeah. Okay. Uh, yeah, I will try. I, I will try to provide. Yeah, we are having a uh, SAP release notes as well. So that one I am going to provide, and also I am going to provide each to topic wise as well. Topic wise, some notes. Yeah. One more thing. Uh, uh, what are the errors will come? How to see in the HTTP and uh, uh, what are the tools we can use uh, behind of this app HTTP? Uh, we can covering yes. Yes, yes, yes. We are having one transaction AF underscore uh, ERR. So okay, we are covering the what are the errors and what is the meaning of that error? Some of the stuff, some of the errors are very standard. Okay, which is because of some missing data or due to uh, missing the prerequisite okay so all those things i'm going to cover hi manoj uh, we're on this site i have one question yes, please. hello, hello. Yeah. Uh, so there are other uh, tra track and trace products as well uh, like trace link so yeah. going forward uh, uh, mm, between HTTP and Tracelink, which is better? Like, what are the job opportunities in HTTP as compared to uh, Tracelink? Okay, so job opportunities. I haven't received any call from Tracelink as of now. So I mean, okay, HTTP from past six years. Varun. Uh, okay. Uh, yeah. So okay, and. Uh, uh, from a DDP point of view, I have received multiple uh, okay jobs, or you can see the multiple jobs as well. So, okay, uh, like okay, consultant 
level or career point of view okay attp is far far better than uh, wrestling and uh, in wrestling okay we don't have much to do because this this is the very simple product i think and uh, yeah okay career point of view i don't think okay uh, wrestling is uh, uh, this, uh, i don't think okay wrestling is uh, uh, stands somewhere near to attp as well for okay. for small industries yeah wrestling is uh, is some small some uh, small companies to uh, some small companies are using wrestling to just to reduce their uh, expenses but uh, uh, but if their business is growing now so at that time they are also shifting from wrestling to it i have seen a lot of examples uh, yes yeah. so and, uh, i just joined uh, few minutes back you were telling that uh, there are career and opportunities in attp can you uh, like tell it tell it uh, tell us tell me again yeah so attp okay this is a very niche product okay and uh, very few okay consultants or okay, very few uh, resources are available in the market and uh, the growth or demand for the consultant is very high the reasons are so some of the countries has already implemented the attp and some are okay going to implement this attp okay and this uh, okay this uh, this compliance or this regulatory uh, system okay the those uh, regulatory system, okay, there is lot of uh, noise background noise hello varun ah uh, yes i can hear you anuj okay okay yeah so uh, going forward okay lot of companies who uh, okay who do not uh, implement this attp uh, so they are also going to implement because this is the compli- uh, uh, compliance and it is mandatory so every country is having their own deadlines to implement this one so so okay so you can uh, uh, you can uh, okay uh, um, uh, guess what is the okay what is the uh, demand for this one and also okay apart from this pharmaceuticals some tobacco uh, uh, fmcgs okay uh, those industry, industries are also using this attp i have okay i have one friend okay who has received one call from one company uh, who is who is manufacturing uh, military products some uh, military products or heavy materials so they are also using this attp product for, to track their uh, track their products so that okay that to, so that they can uh, avoid the misuse of those products the military products so okay initially sap has introduced this uh, tool for pharmaceuticals but uh, pharmaceutical is not the uh, mis- uh, uh, the industry is not only pharmaceutical industry is not only using this one so lot of industries are using this one to to avoid okay. the counterfeiting, counterfeiting or duplicacy um so manoj is it better like uh, apart from attp is it uh, is it suggestible to uh, learn one more module sap module like mm or warehouse uh, management wm mm. okay uh, mm and wm is what we say okay this is the basic module and uh, they are having their own uh, demand and uh, okay the demand and growth and this is new something new completely new and okay this is completely uh, okay attp demand is completely uh, different level so but okay but yeah i understand the attp manoj okay, uh, one more thing yeah yeah manoj yes sir hello yes 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 yeah uh, can you tell me the what is the course duration and uh, how was the classes will be scheduled uh, okay cla- uh, duration will be two or two two and a half months okay it will take almost and uh, okay almost 40 hours uh, and uh, uh, what is the next question uh what is the duration and how was the classes will be means uh, for day 1 hour class or 2 hours so it is morning time or one, evening one time 1 hour or 1.5 hours class every day okay uh, manoj just quick question like uh, once the uh, 
the SAP HTTP system, like what would be our like maintain and only the integrations we manage or we manage any end users use. Sorry, sorry, my. No, once the uh, once the ATP system is live, right? Like uh, you have all the compliance and everything set up as yeah, well. yeah, 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 yeah. It's like what would be our day to day life like? Because system will okay, be so, like okay, like like, like uh, any other model we are having in SAP uh, SAP, you know, like uh, MMSD. So we are also having uh, day to day uh, issues, day to day, uh, okay. yeah, uh, difficulties. So support team or people are working on supports as well so they are having uh, separate support yeah ms teams and uh, some okay announcements will be there so yeah this is uh, like this is not like okay we uh, once we implement the system and uh, okay that's it yeah so this is not like this so we we need to support them as well okay and then and one other question is uh, we have a global uh, global manufacturers as well so how do they uh, if they are sending it to, because there is a country specific uh, regulations as well. yes, yes how do they manage if they are having a centralized manufacturing industries well because like they have to send yeah, it to each country like, is there a global regulations that they can follow or yeah because okay uh, for example if uh, sun pharma is manufacturing the goods in india and if they want to sell their goods in into china so all the okay uh, compliance like okay uh, uh, what we say permissions and all those things will be done by sun pharma already right so this is the so first thing and second thing is the yeah, second thing is okay they should have registration in their uh, china regulatory system as well so they are going to provide some details to the china regu regulatory system and sun pharma sun pharma also okay uh, will receive some details so they should have all the registrations on and registrations and all the uh, details at their system okay. yeah so this this course also includes this integration um, uh, the web service integration uh, web third service, i don't think okay we are having because this is the uh, okay uh, the sandbox system no so maximum okay. we can have okay only ecc to http integration but i will but okay the, those integration uh, integration part in real time also integration part will be taken care by basis team no basis and okay. security team or some okay. pipo teams so okay it's not the functional so, yeah it's not the functional uh, oh, perfect yes yeah manoj uh, one more thing uh, is it required any testing testing part testing uh, yeah while implementation you are saying yeah yeah, yeah while implementing while the system yeah. Upgrade, yeah 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 so yeah so we, okay this is same as ecc okay we are having separate landscape uh, land, landscape for http and uh, in that landscape okay we are